Here, brother. What in God's name happened at the Place de la Révolution today? Germain was there, and I know what his plan is. You have to... You were told to leave that investigation to others. Yes, but listen! Yes, but listen? Is that the regard in which you hold the Brotherhood? I knew this would happen. I told Mirabeau that you were too obsessed with your personal vendettas. This is why I joined the Brotherhood. Yes, not because you shared our ideas or felt called to the service. For revenge. For redemption. Call it what you will. You've defied the orders of this council repeatedly, pursued targets without sanction, and flouted our creed at every step. Master Trenet. In light of these actions, I find I have no choice but to call for a vote of expulsion. Master Bellier. Agreed. What are you- Master Kimar. Agreed. Arno Dorian, you are attainted. Your rank and title are stripped from you, and you are hereby exiled from the Brotherhood of Paris. You cannot be serious. Listen, I know what Germain is doing. I can stop him! The decision of this council is final. We give you leave to go. Garso. Was that last night? Cause enough trouble for one night. Fine. I'll procure my wine in some other fashion. Not hearing things now. Those who oppose us! Master, I need to get 
was last night. Maybe I left it there. Looks like someone got into a fight. Oh, Christ. Not you again. Didn't do enough damage last night. No, I, I just... My father's watch. Have you seen it? I see nothing. Might want to ask one of the four men you picked a fight with. Idiot. You. Uh, where's your boss? Oh, shit. No. Get back here.
What was that? Bloody fire. Enough with the bloody hijinks. What the hell was that? Sorry, he's not ready. Revolutionary! <laughs> <laughs> I say, you were always a bad influence. Oh, you were worst. Diablo, is that Mink? Looks like it.
Oh, no. You look like hell. You look like you want something from me. That's a fine thing to say after you up and vanished. You made it fairly clear you no longer required my services. Don't. Don't you dare talk to me like that. What do you expect me to say, Elise? Forgive me? For not letting you die? I'm sorry that I care more about you than about killing Germain. I thought we wanted the same thing. What I wanted was you. I can't bear the fact that my carelessness got your father killed. Everything I've done since then has been to fix that mistake and to prevent it from happening again. You must have come here with something in mind. What was it? Paris is tearing itself apart. Germain has driven the revolution to new heights of depravity. The guillotines operate nearly around the clock now. And what do you expect me to do about it? The Arno I love wouldn't have to ask that question. You're better than this. I'm going back to Paris. Are you coming? There's one last thing I need to do. All right. I'll go see to our transportation. Stay out of trouble. Don't get caught. you've gotten us into now. Shut up in there! So, this is what France has come to. Parasites bleeding the revolution dry.
fired. But why? Because, Monsieur Latouche, your last report contained numerous errors. Sir, I, I triple-checked those figures. They're not in error. 10,000 livres simply vanished from His Majesty's treasury. I'm sorry, Latouche. Good day. Monsieur Latouche, they tell me you were a tax man. Yes, sir. Good. I have need of someone like you. This parasite is plain and simple. What's that mean? It means greedy bastards skimming for themselves instead of doing their jobs. If you knew half the shit our boss is right here. Tell me about this boss of yours. Very well. May the Father of Understanding guide you. May the Father, Father of Understanding guide us. Um, what would you have me do, Glad Master? I'm placing your services at the disposal of our agent on the convention. The Peltier? Now, Peltier has his uses, but he's not our only friend in government. Monsieur Latouche, I present to you Monsieur Maximilien de Robespierre. Monsieur, I understand Versailles is overrun with parasites. The portal's open. If all goes well, this is your last force migration. Yeah, and if it doesn't go so well, you could go into hippocampal shock and take your meals through an IV for the rest of your life. Let's not dwell on that, shall we? might look familiar to you. We're back in medieval Paris, late 14th century. You're outside the city walls now. I suggest you find your way back.
falling apart. Find the exit fast. If I should stay or be alone Won't you make up your mind Cause I'm getting tired Of overthinking every move you make And I can help you decide 